Hey, Joey Starr here. Before we get into this review, I'd like to take a moment to thank everybody that's been watching these videos. Your support is so appreciated. We're about midway through season one now, and I'm just having a blast putting these videos out, interacting with you, the comments, the emails, the Facebook messages. Thank you so much. I also want to let you know that I do have two other channels. One is my vlog, it's called Joey Star, and the other one is called Star Rock, and it's my music channel. Be sure to check those out if you want to know more about me and my interests. You can also find links to my social media accounts in the description box below. Thanks again, and I hope you enjoy this recent review. Hey, Joey Starr here for Star Quality Kitchen. And today I will be reviewing the double Big Mac from McDonald's. And I will also compare it to the regular Big Mac from McDonald's. Got them both for you. I'm really hungry today, thank goodness, because allegedly there's a whole lot of sandwich here, so we'll see, won't we? The Double Big Mac was something that was previously on promotion for a limited time, but it just came back just a couple days ago. And I know this because I wanted to film this review last weekend and it wasn't back yet. So our goal for the end of this review is to see whether or not it's worth the extra money, is it worth the effort? What's the big difference between the single and the double? Let's find out, shall we? So just so you know, a regular Big Mac currently, at least at my local McDonald's, has a retail price of $6.69. And the Double Big Mac has a retail price of $8.29. So not quite $2 more for the Double. Now bear in mind that Double just means that they doubled up the meat and the cheese or at least as I hope that's what they do. It should not be double the price, of course. So first, let's check out the packaging. Regular Big Mac, this box here, typical size says Big Mac on here. The double Big Mac, this must be a box that they use for larger items in general because it doesn't specifically say Big Mac like this one does. And while it'd be understandable if it was a bit taller, which it is a little bit taller, it's also wider, which in the case of the Big Mac, it really shouldn't be any wider. It should just be taller, right? Because it's the same stuff. Now let's take a look here. All right, it's gonna open up this big old Mac here and and here we go here's a big mac full disclosure i haven't had a big mac in at least seven eight years maybe longer and i could swear it was a lot bigger than this from what i remember this is the height of a quarter pounder with cheese but i remember the big mac being kind of fluffier and up top like this or maybe because i was younger and just the world looked bigger than it does now i'm not sure but that's what it looks like. It smells pretty good. How's that song go? To all beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. Okay, it still follows that. Bun's really toasty here. Really toasty. Oh, there's a nice smell to it. Let's see how much bigger the Double Big Mac is. Sitting a little sloppy in the box here. It was a little tougher to grab. Okay, there's definitely double meat and it looks like the same amount of cheese. So they really only doubled the meat on it. One slice of cheese for four patties as opposed to one slice of cheese for two patties. So I guess you only get double the meat. This bun, I don't know if it's taken a lot of abuse or what, but it's so thin on the bottom, my goodness. Same smell, of course, no surprising, right? I mean, this is basically the same sandwich just with more meat. This looks a little closer to how I remember the traditional Big Mac being close to a decade ago. So I don't know. There's a part of me that feels like I'm being charged $2 more for a couple of extra patties bringing it at a net height of what it used to be or possibly smaller I don't know I'm not saying that I'm a huge fan of McDonald's although there's a time where I love them but I'm trying not to be biased here there is a good smell and you know, the patties they look okay I guess so let's set them next to each other I tell you one thing that I remember that still holds true is that it is really sloppy handling a big mac I mean I got special sauce and onions and a little bit of the relish from the sauce all over my hands and I haven't even done anything yet. A little sliver of onion on my pants already. Here we go. The big boy, the little guy. <laughs> That's your comparison. Originally, I was going to kind of cut these open for you to see the insides, but chances are, if you're watching this video, you already know what a Big Mac looks like inside. You know what it tastes like. You're just watching because you're curious about the differences between the two. I'm going to take a bite of the traditional Big Mac. I mean, there really shouldn't be much of a taste difference, but this is going to be our baseline here. So in the front here, a whole bunch of lettuce and sauce right in the front there. I'm going to try to get a really good bite in so I can get a bit of everything in the bite. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not much different than I remember eating seven or eight years ago. Other than it seems like it's a compressed version of what I remember. Maybe I'm just remembering it wrong, but it seems like they went a little stingy on the lettuce. Bearing in mind that this is my local McDonald's, your McDonald's might do a little bit better job as far as that goes. I mean, presentation wise, it's just kind of a sloppy double burger sandwich with their special sauce. I'm gonna take another bite here. 
Okay, so the good news is that even though the burger patties looked like they were going to be dry, they're really not. Thank goodness. Flavor's there. I will say this, again, might be my local McDonald's, but the meat is not oversalted. The sandwich in general is not oversalted. I appreciate that. One of the reasons why I slowed down the amount of McDonald's that I was eating, besides obviously the health reasons, is that a lot of the stuff is so salty, especially the fries. Get our double Big Mac. Let me show you again. It looks like here. I mean, it is jam-packed with meat. I don't know, it actually looks pretty good, you know? From a presentation point of view, this does look more appetizing than that. I'll give them that. So let's take this, get a good bite in. All right. So as somebody who loves his protein meats, there's definitely a bit of a flavor shift being a meatier bite, of course. In my opinion, it does make it taste better. I mean, let's face it, if you make spaghetti with meat sauce and you decide to use more meat than normal, you're gonna taste a difference. And especially if you're a meat lover, if you love that flavor, then it's gonna taste better to you. This is the same concept here. Also of note, something I forgot about from the days when I used to have Big Macs every so often is that you gotta be careful when you're eating it, the way you hold it. Like I mean, my mom used to eat these and by the time she she got halfway through the sandwich, the bottom bun would be about like this small, but the crown would still be the full size. And there's just something about the way you hold it that it's just, I don't know, it's like everything shifts over. You end up beating the bottom quicker than the top. And my secret was, which I forgot until now, is that when you hold it, don't squeeze it at all. Just try to apply just enough force that you're holding on to the sucker, but stuff's not falling out. And you're likely to preserve the bun more. Although I didn't do too bad. Most of the bun's still there. So I'm gonna take a bite on this end, which has more of the sauce and lettuce and cheese in the meats. I just wanna make that comparison. Decent contrast between the sweetness as part of the sauce to the savory elements of the burger patties. It's not bad. There's so many different kinds of fast food burgers out there and they're at all different levels. And I myself, personally, I don't feel like McDonald's is at the top of those fast food burgers. Probably not even top five, but it's pretty decent. And they tend to be a little more affordable than the other ones. So in all things considered, it's not bad. It's not a bad sandwich. I wouldn't say that going out and getting a double Big Mac is life changing by any means. It's really the same sandwich that you've known for your whole life. Just maybe a hint tastier because there's more meat to satisfy that craving for your animal proteins. Is it worth almost two more dollars? Maybe with the tax, two more dollars to get that as opposed of the Big Mac, I guess it depends how hungry you are. If I'm craving a Big Mac, the double Big Mac probably be the better option. I don't know what McDonald's has planned. I don't know if this is back permanently or it's on promotion. My recommendation is if you do like Big Macs and you feel like a regular Big Mac meal still leaves you a little bit hungry, by all means, try the double Big Mac. It should be at least a little bit better for you, a little bit better on the taste, a little bit better on how filling it is. If your local McDonald's is a little more exceptional and their quality, then it's probably gonna be very enjoyable. Make sure you get some of those delicious McDonald's fries to go with it, which I already ate before I started filming. So, you know, <laughs> that's what happens when you go to McDonald's for at least half a decade or more is that, you know, you get those fries and you just you can't stop yourself from eating them. But decent if you like Big Mac. It's not too bad. Other than that, it's not much difference between the two sandwiches. All right. Thank you for watching Star Quality Kitchen. Be sure to like, share, subscribe and stalk. Laters. Sometimes with the way my appetite is, sometimes I could probably kill two of those and still have room for fries.